Hello friends, welcome to BSP Unity. As we have said earlier, your Vishwam Computers is now associated with BSP Unity in order to provide you the important questions of computer subjects. In our today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the important questions of your Java, which is in fifth semester of MPCS. So I hope you are familiar with your syllabus and topics. Now in our today's session, we will just discuss the important question from each and every unit. It might have become late, but see if you are covering all these questions, you people might come across with at least one question from each unit so that you could answer all the questions. I hope so. The questions are very longer and you people may feel that you are having so many questions in this. But as this Java is the worst uh, subject where you people will be having uh, so many topics that need to be covered. So you should go through all these questions. Okay. Uh, and here I have designed the questions as of unit is concerned, right? From the first unit, you people will be having the eight important questions here. Just look, uh, take a look over here. The first question that you could see is explain the features of Java and discuss the different feasibilities control in Java. This is the first question that you could expect in your Java. Okay. And second question that you could expect is explain the differences between different kind of looping statements means to say that while loop do while loop you people will be having no differentiate between while and do while using suitable examples you may come across these questions uh, in a uh, short questions but as of my knowledge is concerned this unit one is not that much tough if you know c c plus plus in and well manner why because the basic things you people will be learning it from c and c plus plus if you know them, you could answer the questions from your first unit easily. Why? Because the syntax will be similar. Just the way in which you people will be presenting it, it will be different. But almost the syntax is uh, same as of your C, C++ and Java is concerned. Now I'll go for the next one. That is step by step procedure of execution of a program. How you people will be executing your java program how you people will be opening the editor how you people will be saving the file and how you people will be running in the command prompt that is what the procedure that you need to explain for this particular question and the fourth question that you are having is structure of java programming how you people will be writing a java program that you need to explain and the fifth question that you are having is what is class and object that you people will be having in java as of uh, you people know that the Java is a object oriented programming language that uh, where we will be having a concepts like classes and object. You need to explain them with the syntax and examples. Okay. And then conditional statement. As I already told you people, if you are familiar with C and C++, you people could easily answer them. Okay. And the next one is typecasting. How you people will be changing the type of data from one type to other type that will be the typecasting. And you people might have come across this particular topic in the previous uh, languages also. Like uh, uh, you people will be having implicit and explicit uh, conversion. No? In the same way you people will be having the topic over here in the Java. Okay. Now we'll go for the last question. That is data types in Java. What are the data types that are available in Java? And how much memory it is taking? And how you people will be having the uh, data types in Java that you need to explain in this. Okay, I'll go for the second unit. See, the second unit consists of eight more questions. The first question that you could expect from your second unit is compare and contrast method overloading and method overriding in Java. What do you mean by method overloading and method overriding? That you should explain. Simply, I can say overloading is nothing but using the same function for number of times. Method overriding is you will be using the same method, but you people will be overriding it. Means to say that you people will be having different kind of functionalities that you need to explain with the example. Okay. And the second one that you are having is write about a brief note on command line argument. That is what the second question you could expect. And the next one that you are having is inheritance and types of inheritance available in Java. Inheritance is the procedure where you people will be acquiring the properties of one class into other classes is nothing but an inheritance. 
you people will be having different kind of inheritances single inheritance multiple inheritance multi level inheritance you will be having so many inheritance types and you need to explain them each with the example means to say that you need to write the program over there and this is what you are inheritances and the next one is types of constructors that you are having in java okay constructors topic you people might have come across in the case of c++ also here you need to explain in java okay and the next one and one more important question from your second unit is your package what is package explain how we will be creating the packages in detail that is what the next question is and the next thing that you are having is abstracts and interfaces explain abstracts and interfaces in java in detail okay and the next one you people know about one dimensional array two dimensional array in case of your c language c plus plus and you people will be using it in java also here you need to explain it in java okay and the next ca next case you people may receive it for the short question as well as long question that is wrapper classes what is wrapper classes how you people will be using it in java that you need to explain over here okay now without uh, wasting much time let me go for third unit why because uh, the questions are very lengthy so it may take longer time but go through all these questions you people will be definitely answering all the questions from your question paper i think so okay and let me go for third unit in the third unit you people will be having keywords and exception handlings how you people will be handling the exception in case of java and one more important question from your third unit is threads what is threads and what is the kind of thread and uh, life cycle uh, life cycle of thread these are very important topics from your third unit you need to discuss about the thread and you need to describe about the thread all these three questions will fall under only one category about the thread you need to define the thread you need to give the syntax you need to say the life cycle of thread and how you people can create the multi threading this entire three conditions three questions will be falling under only one topic called thread okay and you could expect one question for thread next question is about synchronization with example what is synchronization you need to explain with the example program that's it by that your answer will be ending it right and the next question that you are having is purpose of java packages why we will be using packages and how we will be using that you need to explain and the concept of streaming and its byte streaming classes in your java okay and then the next question is explain file input and file output streaming classes this is the last question that you could expect among this packages question is important and thread this is not as three these are not three questions these are only one question you need to completely read about the thread so that you could explain it okay and you can explain this exception handling also okay and let me go for the next unit that is unit 4 and before that you are having one more question from the third unit that is explain scanner classes okay now let me go for fourth unit in a fourth unit you are having eight more questions you could expect this question for long question and short question for what were the thing it is right and go for this applet life cycle what is applet what is the life cycle of applet that you should learn them okay and next one that you are having is what is the role of event listeners and event handlings list the java event listeners okay you people might have come across with the different kind of events maximum people will be telling you about the mouse events okay no problem whatever the event that you have learnt in your class just explain them in this particular question okay one of the important question is your applet you may receive it or as you people may receive awt okay what is the purpose of awt and explain the controls supported by awt by using an example you people may get this question okay and the next question that you could expect is explain the buttons and checkbox component how you people will be using when you are using the events okay that you need to explain that okay and have and the next question that you are having is explain layout managers in awt okay 
ए डब्ल्यू टी दीज आर नॉट डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन ए डब्ल्यू टी इज सिंगल टॉपिक यू नीड टू एंटायरली गो थ्रू दैम सो दैट यू कूड आंसर एनी ऑफ दीज क्वेश्चन ओके यू नीड टू गो विद द स्विंग्स सो दैट यू पीपल वेल कम अक्रॉस द डिफरेंसेज बिटवीन ए डब्ल्यू टी एंड स्विंग्स एंड देन द लेटर क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्लेन द जे फ्रेम्स जे अप्लाइड एंड जे बैनर यू पीपल मे गेट दीज क्वेश्चन फॉर शार्ट क्वेश्चन आलो इंडिविजुअली एक्सप्लेन जे फ्रेम्स एंड जे अप्लाइड जे पैनल समटाइम्स यू पीपल मे गेट इट फॉर द लांग क्वेश्चन आलो ओके एंड द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट यू आर हैविंग इज ले आउट मैनेजर्स इन स्विंग्स दे आर कंप्लीटली डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द स्विंग्स ए डब्ल्यू टी and then in the fourth unit you people could go with the applet topic awt topic and event topics from these three questions you could expect any questions and these are the sub topic section say uh, we can't say that these are the different questions but majorly you people are having only three questions that is applets and events and then awt these are the three major topics from your fourth unit go through your material uh, in in the concept of uh, topic i can say if you are going through the question more they may become large but if you are learning the concept then you could explain them in different ways this is your java important question first bsc mpcs final year fifth semester okay this is what the thing that you need to remember and i hope so if you are following all these questions now you people could attempt all the questions from your question paper and i'm wishing you all the best for your examination and i hope so you will do well in your examinations if you like this video just subscribe it if you are already subscribed it let your friends know about this channel and let them subscribe too okay and if you like this video just like and share this and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching see you in the next one thank you